Worms, intestinal parasites are normal in the intestinal flora. They are part of what makes up the sheep's stomach. They live there. That's their house. That's their home. And you have to get them out. When you let them reach a certain level or the burden becomes too much, they start causing adverse effects on these animals. And instead of you having an animal a year, and it should be 100 and 200 pounds, it's one year, but it's only 40 pounds. And you want to know why? Every time you eat, it's feeding the worms. It's not supplying any nutrients for its own self. It is only living because the body gets a little bit for maintenance, not for production. So you need to buy this. And you're deworming. You have both of them, Ivermec and the hunter. And the hunter. You need to alternate them. If you are into sheep or small ruminant production, the best one for you to have is the Ivermec. Ivermec works excellent in sheep and goats. The problem we have with Ivermec is that a lot of people do not know how much to give. They overdose the animals with the Ivermec and the next week they tell me the animal lose its young one. So if you're not sure, take all safety precaution and use the Hunter or the Panacle. This one does not cause abortion. If you go buy somebody's farm and you buy two goats and you want to take them on your farm, deworm them for three straight days before you carry them on your farm. Because they're going to carry a lot of worms in your paddock and every time they poop, a lot of a lot, the feces has a lot of eggs in it. They hatch, the sheep eat around the area and they pick up all the worms them. When you have animals and they're in this shape, no, it does not necessarily have to be worms here. But we're going to treat it for worms. We have other parasites that can actually cause animals to look like this. So, but we're going to treat it. If you give this animal more than it's supposed to get, because it is already in a state of reversity, reversing, it is not coming to health, it is going away from health. What you have to do is to make sure you give it the correct amount. That's why people say you overdose the animal because you give it too much and when you give it, knock it out. So you give it one, one would be fine. You open to one ml. You, op you open the mouth and you do not go from the front. You go to hold your hand like this and you go from this side. And you just cut it in and it tastes good.